I grabbed a pack of these seed starter pots from my Dollar Tree in my Rust-Oleum Chalked Linen White spray paint, and I spray painted five of these pots. I let those fully dry, and I got these stickers from Hobby Lobby, and I liked them because they were a long, skinny band, and it was the perfect design to wrap around my pot so that I could just add a little bit of a design to them. So once I measured the length that I needed to have it wrapped fully around, I just cut the sticker. And I'm gonna use a little bit of the E6000 to just hold it in place. The pot is a little bit of a rough surface, so it's not gonna lay completely flat, but as long as it just wraps around and you can glue the ends of the stickers, then it should not fall off. And I repeated this step with all five of the pots. And again, I grabbed these stickers right from Hobby Lobby. I love the design of them and the color. We have that modern tribal look to them. And I'm just eyeing and going down about a half an inch on my pot. And I repeated that until all five of the pots had a sticker wrapped around them. I got this wreath form from Michaels. It's made by Ashland and it's a 16 inch. And I took my hole puncher. Now this is a leather hole punch, but it works for many different materials. And I'm just gonna punch two holes in them and take a piece of jute and string it through the two holes. And then I'm going to attach the pot to the wreath form here. And I started with putting one on the left side and then I'm gonna put this one on the right side. And I liked how this wreath form had the half a grid here. So you could really do so many different things with this. And I'm trying to make this as even as I can by kind of eyeballing it. But you can count the grids if you want it to be exact. And then I'm going to take a third one and put it in the center. And these pots were just perfect because they're very lightweight and they're easy to adhere to this grid here. So once I had this one in place, I took the other two and then put them in between where you have the two gaps. And I filled the entire grid with five of them. I grabbed these succulents right from the Dollar Tree. They have so many different ones to pick from, some really pretty colors. And I'm just going to stick the succulents in the top of each pot. And I just took the ones that I had on hand, which most of them are green, and I had a couple of the colored ones, which I just put in between the green ones. And now you could fill these with any type of artificial flower that works for you. Next, I'm gonna take more jute in these wooden beads. Now, I grabbed these wooden beads from Walmart. They were in a package, and they are made from Horizon. And they're 16 millimeter beads, and they were the whole pack for $1.50. So if you see them at Walmart, I would grab them. They had a ton of different colors. And I'm just going to string them onto the jute here, and this is going to be my hanger. And there we go. Now we have this really fun succulent wall hanging. I hope you enjoyed this video. Paint products can be found on our webpage at chalkitupfancy.com. And don't forget, you can check out other tutorials on our webpage as well. Have a great day.